now it's time for one of my favorite segments, Quilt of the Week. And today's featured quilt is truly a work of art. It's called Buffalo Robe. But to understand the quilt, you need to understand the quilter. And we're lucky enough to have both in our studio today. Welcome, John Flynn. Hi, Hi John. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind this beautiful quilt? Well, growing up in Montana, I have an interest in Native American art and artifacts, Gina. And the quilt is actually a reproduction of a buffalo robe painting, but uh, in honor of the Sioux star quilt tradition, I uh, decided that buffalo robes should be reproduced in quilts. So. Well, that's a nice influence to have in your quilts, isn't it? Yes. Well, when you're making a pieced quilt like this, it's always a challenge when you have such sharp points, isn't it? Well, the, the construction method is a little different than the traditional block-to-block -block quilt or border-on-border -border medallion quilt in that the quilt was pieced as concentric rings. So the points were pieced in rings and then sewn point to point, so you don't lose any of your... You don't cut points. off those sharp points. You don't cut off the sharp <laughs> that points. That is right. a, a great part of this outstanding design. Well, now, you didn't always start out as a quilter, did you? No, I uh, trained as a civil engineer and built bridges for 20 years, Gina. And uh, then about 15 years ago, my wife was uh, learning to quilt, and I couldn't help re-engineer the process for her. Well, that's quite a departure for building bridges. Yeah. Tell me what you're working on now. Actually, been doing a lot with the uh, Wheel of Mystery block pattern. Uh, a lot of cute secondary designs that you can get in that. So it's. <laughs> well, we'll look forward to seeing that. Mysterious Wheel? Uh, wheel of Mystery. Wheel of Mystery. Also known as Winding Ways. <laughs> it sounds intriguing. Thanks, John. You bet. Mm -hmm.